And that's it! Our garden needs biodiversity. We need a bunch of different plants and animals. Where do we start? Do you know how many plants and animals there are? Like gazillions! And I'm not counting unicorns, dragons, or hungry grass. So very bizarre. You know, I think I know a place that could help us narrow it down. Wow! Ooh, flowers! So many flowers! Oh, and fruit! Ooh, and veggies! Oh, and look! Hummingbirds and butterflies! Focus is we're here to work, to learn how to make our garden as awesome as... <gasps> Hey there, little buddy. And there he goes. Okay, so our garden needs different types of flowers, veggies, and plants. And birds and insects that feed on them, like hummingbirds, butterflies... Bees! Oh, yes, and bees. Here, beesy, beesy, beesy. Just call me the Bee Whisperer. <laughs> Come on, Bee Whisperer. I think we're ready to make our awesomely biodiverse garden. Yes, we are. Um... Hi. Hi, girls. I'm Samantha. Hi, Chloe. We went to UC Irvine Hi. to show Samantha, a marine biologist, all our data. You guys want to head up and check out the lab? Sure. sure. Yeah. So we went to Samantha's biology lab, which was amazing. Great, ladies, welcome to the lab. Samantha uses the data to see if the marine protected area is healthy or not. Wow, this looks great. Thanks. Thank you. So you want to tell me a little bit about what you saw in the plankton trawl first? The most common species we saw was the copepod, and it's a zooplankton. We were all surprised to see that we didn't find any phytoplankton. Is that unusual? Phytoplankton photosynthesize. Mm -hmm. So what is one of the main things you need when you photosynthesize? Sunlight. Sunlight, exactly.